everyone, it's Miss Marsha from Wheaties. I hope you all had a great summer and I hope you're all excited being back at school again too. I'm so happy that your teacher has decided to share this book with you. It's really fun, really exciting, and very inspirational too. So let's get started. Dear Dragon, written by Josh Funk, illustrated by Rodolfo Montalvo. Hello students. Our poetry and pen pal projects this year are combined. Upon your desk, you'll see the pen pals that you've been assigned. Please make sure the letters that you write are all in rhyme. Now open up your envelopes because it's pen pal time. September 12th. Dear Blaze Dragoneer, we haven't met each other and I don't know what to say. I really don't like writing but I'll do it anyway. Yesterday, my dad and I designed a giant fort. I like playing catch and soccer. What's your favorite sport? Sincerely, George Slayer. October 1st. Dear George Slayer, I also don't like writing, but I'll try it, I suppose. A fort is like a castle, right? I love attacking those. My favorite sport is skydiving. I jump near Falcor Peak. Tomorrow is my birthday, but my party is next week. Sincerely, Blaze Dragoneer. October 31st. Dear Blaze Dragoneer, you know how to skydive? That's as awesome as it gets. My dog destroyed my fort last night. Do you have any pets? Happy birthday, by the way. I don't have mine till June. I'm trick-or-treating as a knight. We're heading out real soon. George Slayer. November 14th. Dear George Slayer, nights are super scary. I don't like to trick or treat. Brushing teeth is such a pain. I rarely eat a sweet. My pet's a Bengal kitten and tonight she needs a bath. What's your favorite class in school? I'm really into math. Blaze Dragoneer. December 16th. Dear Blaze D. My favorite class is art. I made a mold of my left hand. Next, we'll craft mosaics using pebbles, stones, and sand. Yesterday, I won a prize in this year's science fair. My towering volcano blasted lava everywhere. George S. January 18th. Dear George S. My father's won our local fire breathing contest twice. He still retains the record, melting 50 cubes of ice. Do you have any hobbies? I enjoy collecting rocks. I keep them in a secret place inside a precious box. Blaze D. February 22nd. Blaze, fire breathing? What's your father's job? My folks are teachers. I collect exotic monsters, animals, and creatures. Oh, guess what? I heard the news this morning from Miss Sweet. A pen pal picnic's planned for June. At last, we'll get to meet George. March 15th. George, dad's in demolition. He works hard throughout the day, but every night we read a book or pick a game to play. Soon he's going to take me flying once it's really spring. It's such a rush to ride the air that flows from wing to wing. Blaze. April 11th. Hi, Blaze. Skydiving and flying lessons? Wow, your parents rock. I'm lucky if my father lets me bike around the block. Once the school year is over and this project is complete, should we continue writing? Because it could be kind of neat. Your friend, George. Hey, George. I'm psyched about the picnic and I can't wait to attend. Who'd have thought this pen pal thing would make me a new friend? Writing more sounds awesome. I was going to ask you too. I've never liked to write as much as when I write to you. Your friend, Blaze. Pen Pal Picnic. Look at the faces of the children and the dragons. They look really surprised. Blaze? George? My Pen Pal is a dragon? My pen pal is a human? Yeah! Our 
Our plan was a success, my friend, or so it would appear. The Poetry and Pen Pal Project. Once again, next year? Thanks everyone for listening to Miss Marsha's Read Aloud Books with Weebies. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope your class is inspired to do a pen pal project with another class somewhere far away from where you live too. Don't forget to like and subscribe for your chance to win free books and Amazon gift cards in my monthly draws.